Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here with part 34 of Let's Play The Sims 4. It's Wednesday, 1.30 a.m. in the morning. Liberty's up and about. She's... I don't know, she ages up in like... Oh, two days, I think? Two days? One day! So we really... I really want her to... I don't know, have some interactions with some teenage boys after school. Um... So yeah, we might actually get chatting to a few boys if we can. Uh, let's see. More choices. Socialize. Chat with. Anyone on? Let's chat to Desmond, who happens to be up super early as well. I don't think Xavier's going to mind that she's up. She's a bit older. She can kind of do what she wants. Oh, it's feeling better, are you, Xavier? <laughs> All right, so... He's, he's up. Well, maybe we can get him to do a little bit of artwork. He's really close to getting a promotion, but he needs to reach level 9 in the painting skills. So let's get him to do a nice big painting for Liberty's birthday. Maybe a pop art this time. See what he can come up with. I think everyone else is sleeping, which is good. And uh, Trinity, actually. I wonder how her writing skill is going. Trinity and Cody are becoming elders in seven days. And it's just not long enough to have another baby, I don't think. Because then they will have a kid whilst they're in elders. And I don't really want that to happen. So we're not going to have any more kids um, for this generation. They're going to have their two lovely boy and girl, Carter and Desiree, to keep the family going. Uh, but I wouldn't mind Trinity doing a little bit of work. She has work in 11 hours. Oh, maybe we'll give her a little bit more of a sleep in. Desiree is going okay. She's got a grade B in school. We might be able to get her up to an A, but I don't know. She ages, ages up in one day as well, so they could probably have a joint party. Maybe we'll focus more on Liberty's birthday, though, at this stage. And, um... Yeah, that sounds good. Poor old Carter over here is just stinking it up. Typical teenage boy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, he's not feeling good at all. So let's get him to use a loo. Let's get him to take a shower. And he did get a tattoo in the last part. Bit of a rebel he is. Trinity was not happy. Look at, any, look at his phone on the toilet. Oh dear. And uh, as you do. So let's get him to have a shower. Need to have some food. Let's see how Cody's doing in his job performance. Uh, we'll get him up. So he is so close to a promotion in two days, which is super exciting. Let's get him to make a big breakfast for everyone. Okay, let's cook a gourmet breakfast. Uh, maybe we can go with, oh, yeah, I'm prosciutto wrapped asparagus. I don't eat prosciutto, though. <laughs> uh, let's get him to make maybe some, I don't know, what can you have for breakfast? Fruit and yogurt parfait. All right, let's do a party size of that. So there's plenty for everyone, even for seconds. Liberty is feeling playful. And, uh, let's see how our relationship with Desmond was going. She has a few boys... Uh, a few boys she could hang out with at the moment. Let's go see Miles, I think. Maybe we can see him before school. Although 4.30 is just a little bit keen. A little bit keen. Let's see if she can do some homework. Do homework again. Cody loves to cook in the other kitchen, even though we built him this massive chef's kitchen. Like, whatever, Cody. <laughs> um... Let's see little Desiree. She's up and about. Good stuff, girl. Oh, what a boy. I know. Feeling a little bit better. Let's do some homework before school. And what's going on over here for Carter? He's not looking too happy, is he? All right. Maybe he needs to have some fun. Uh, homework's no fun, though, so we won't do that. What would Carter feel like doing for fun? Maybe he can watch the channel... Watch a bit of action. That's what Carter needs. Although they could all do with a bit of breakfast. Actually, Carter, grab a serving of this. Liberty, what is she doing? We'll get you a serving as well, and then we're going to go maybe meet some boys. 
Desiree, you're hungry too. Maybe grab a serving of that. What quality is it? Excellent. You go, Cody. Nice job. They're not very talkative this morning. Not very talkative at all. Maybe let's just brighten someone's day. Like, they're so anti-sociable. It's kind of like when you wake up super early and you just can't talk to anyone because you're super tired. All right. Liberty's going to sit down and enjoy, enjoy these lovely men. Xavier, how did your painting go? I feel like he didn't... Oh, that's awesome for Liberty's birthday. How cool is that? Oh, I love it. I love it. Well, we'll put it in our inventory for now, maybe. And then you can have a shower. All right, Liv, you're looking good today. Let's change your outfit to everyday four. Or is that her jeans? Nah, let's not wear jeans today. Let's change it to everyday two. Little skirt and boots. I like that combo. All right, let's go hang out before school. We don't have much time. Quickly, um... Ask out on a date. It's going to be a very quick date, but at least we can maybe check out a couple of interactions before they head off to school. We'll just go to the park. Somewhere easy, somewhere close. <laughs> All right. I have to say, I do like Miles and Liberty. Although I kind of have a thing for Desmond as well. Oh, Nicholas Flamel is just always, just <laughs> always there in front of her. <laughs> Oh dear, friendly introduction. Well, they already know each other pretty well, but whatever. Uh, Poor Nicholas Flamel, he tries so hard to get Liberty's attention. Oh dear, let's get a little bit flirty, shall we? Monkey around first. And uh, have a little bit of romance. They're pretty keen catching up at 10 to 7 in the morning. Make a flirtatious joke. Oh, what? That didn't work out very well for her? He didn't like that? Oh my god, why is he so, like... Serious? Okay, that's better. That's better. What else? Romance. Compliment appearance. We can catch up with him after school as well. Let's do a hug. I mean, I think they would be a good couple. But then there's Nicholas Flamel. Maybe when she grows up a little bit, she'll she'll like Nicholas. They're great best friends, though. He's so dreamy. Oh, poor Nicholas. He's just sulking around. I was going to say skulking. Sulking. Reveal crush. Let's see her reveal her crush to him. Take a photo first. Is she revealing a crush? I don't know if she did. Oh well, pick up line in any case. Oh no, she did reveal her crush, I think. Oh, she's feeling flirty now. Very cute. Let's have a first kiss. Maybe by the fountain. Go here together. Date unsuccessful. Well, we wanted him to come to the fountain. Oh no! Oh, they're going to school before their first kiss. Oh, damn. Oh well, at least it got started for the day a little bit, got that relationship up, and that is a good thing. Oh, Nicholas Flamel's hanging out with Taylor Harding? Is it Taylor Harding? Who is that? Who is that again? Taylor Hardy? Harding. Oh, Taylor Harper. That's the one. All right. Well, let's switch back. Um, we'll switch back to the household and see what's happening while the kids are at school. But yeah, I really want Liberty to have a bit of a muck around, um, which is not a woohoo, but mucking around um, with probably, I'm thinking that we go with Miles. Because we want to see what that's like for a teen. And then maybe Carter can invite a date over after school as well. Okay, Carter's off to school. Good job. He's probably not in the best mood. 
But oh well. Okay. Alright, these guys need a little bit of romance. Maybe we'll do a suave kiss, seeming he's feeling confident. Oh, very nice, Savior. Very nice. And describe aesthetics, because we need to get him to do that. Oh, Trinity, she's so pretty. I love Trin. I don't want Trin to ever die in The Sims. <laughs> I love her too much. All right, well, she can do a few things for her work. Let's get her to... Where are you, girl? And she's in a fairly good mood. Oh, she's in a great mood. Awesome. Well, let's write another book. Um, it's probably a good idea. Write genre book. Let's write a screenplay for a change. See how she goes with that. I mean, what's her skill level up to now? It must be pretty high. Yeah, skill level eight. So we should be earning a lot more, I think, if we send the books to the publishers. All about Cleve. All about Ash. No, all about... All about Cody. No, no, no. All about Trinity. Come on, guys. <laughs> okay. Ashton, where are you going? Can you just use the toilet quickly? What time's your work? Works in five hours. Well, we can up that fitness skill. Dave is off to work. He's in a good mood. I hope we get a promotion today. That would be good. Uh, let's just keep working out like we always do. And Cody, on the other hand, when's work for you? Work is in two days. I swear, Cody never works. Like, <laughs> I swear he never does. Well, at least he's doing his fatherly duties, getting rid of things around the house. Let's pop that in the fridge because that was made really nicely. Oh, and you guys did say there's a lamp in Carter's room that I left on the floor, which was really annoying a lot of you guys. Yeah, we don't need two lamps. All right. Poster improvement. Desiree is super excited to turn in her dolphin poster, illustrations, photos, fun facts. It has it all, but all the kids are crowding around another kid's poster, which shimmers with silvery detail. Desiree could say she forgot hers and then add more stuff at recess. Hmm, no, I think we should turn it at on time. Desiree decides to take pride in her work and not risk getting a late mark. Brandishing her poster, she turns it in, earning a flaccid smile from the teacher and a bright red B. Well, that's good. We're keeping our grades up. It's good to hear. Is he having a beverage? Oh, Cody. Cody, Cody. All right, we've got a few royalties coming in. Nothing too crazy, though. Why don't we do some gardening with Cody, actually? Purchase some seeds, maybe do some starter fruits. Can we do that? Yep. Well, let's get two of those and two vegetables. All right, so we can then plant those. What? Open seed packet, there we go. What? Open seed packet. All right, so we... I don't understand. Drag this item into the world to run this interaction. No, I want to start a fruit. I want to grow these things. Do we just like place them there to grow them? Oh, okay. Plant, plant. See, I've done this before, but I just forgot. Okay. Let's plant a few things. Have a nice gardening Guard time in the garden. Nice gardening time. All right. Oh, I like that he's in his summery board shorts. That's cool. Like he's just been for a swim. Let's plant them all. Can't plant this while there is a tree seed taking up the planter box space. Oh, okay. All right. That's okay. Let's... What? Can't plant that one either. Let's get that out of the way and plant it. Undervalued art. Browsing through an art brokerage website, Xavier notices that a certain painting has been grossly undervalued. Should he take advantage of this deep discount or contact the site to have them correct the mistake? I think he would correct it and not take advantage. Site owner is so grateful to Xavier for correcting the mistake that she offers Xavier a 20% discount on his next purchase. Oh yeah, that's all right. That's okay. Oh, <laughs> he planted it outside. 
Oh well, what an achievement, Trinity finished writing her book. Nice one, girl. So, okay, she has work in two hours. Gone up in the gardening skill. Good job, Cody. Let's send off to publisher our all about Trinity screenplay. A screenplay based on Trinity's life. <laughs> Okay, so she's posted that off. It's all out in the world. Now each day Trinity will earn a moderate amount of earnings. Cool beans, cool beans. Oh, she starts working two hours. Let's just, she's still in such a good mood. We can probably write another book. Although she's written five books, she is so going to get a promotion. It's promotions all around for this family. I know, maybe we should write a love email. Can we write it to Cody? Yeah, we'll write a love email. Never lose the romance in a relationship. You've always got to keep it going. <laughs> All right. So that's happening. How's Ashton going? Oh, look at Xavier with his, uh, <laughs> with his, uh, martini, perhaps. Wait, Xavier should be at work. Why is, oh, it's Cody, not Xavier. Gosh, nearly got Ashton to hit on Cody. That wouldn't have been good. But let's just have a little chat about cooking. You can socialize with that. We reach level seven fitness skill. He's still not that fit, but at least that's getting his social up. I finally learned Cody was a foodie. You're a bit slow on the uptake, Ashton. Oh, it's got such a, such a deep voice. Discuss fitness techniques. They're just gonna have a little bit of a hangout. How good does that look? That is totally a mojito. Tang and zing. Totally, aka a mojito. Alright. Is she still riding? Oh no, she's just trolling. She's trolling. Okay. She's got work in two minutes. Perfectly on time. Let's speed things up for the kids to get home. Two weebus. Boy, it's the bees hanging out. Should go have a drink. How about, Cody, you have yours? And uh, Ashton, why don't you make yourself a drink as well? You can have a juice on the rocks. I feel like he's that kind of guy. Maybe they can have just a bit of a swim in the pool. Then we'll get Liberty to invite over one of the boys. All right, so he's going to go out to the bar. Let's just get Cody back over here. What was the other option then? And uh, Trinity, you need to go to work. Oh, did I get her to get the drink? Oh gosh, such derp right now. Trinity, go to work, please. Please go to work. Go to work. Good. Oh gosh, she started at one and she's gonna get there at three. Well, that was that was silly. Xavier, let's uh, have a drink. Let's have a flaming zesty salt. I feel like all their drinks re like represent them really well. Where's Cody drinking? Oh, he's just standing inside. It's such a beautiful day. Like, like go for a swim. Listening to some classical. Let's turn it up a little bit and get some pop happening. Change value high. There we go, that's better around the llama pool they're having their own midweek party you know that's okay oh all right so oh liberty's so tired i guess she did get up super early let's just get her to have a bit of a snoozle invite a guy over later oh he's exhausted they're all exhausted <laughs> oh ashton's meant to be at work off you go I think um I think you should have something to eat before you go to bed. He probably won't be inviting any girls over tonight then. All right, here's off to work, Ashton. Let's just check him out for a second. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, very attractive looking. Let's go for a swim as well. Although he's needing to uh, have a bit of tinkle time, I think. Hanging out. I can't believe how tired she is. I really want a boy to come over because she's going to age up tomorrow. I think she ages up tomorrow. Or is she going to age up now? I hope not. 
Liberty, get your energy up. We need to invite boys over. Oh, how's our little fishy going, our new pet, Gertrude? Looking very good. Rarity, very common. Freshness, foul. Are we meant to clean this? What do you mean? Like, well, freshness, foul. I don't understand. We can't clean it, so... I don't know. I don't know. Alright, how's... I feel like Cody should probably... Oh, he's eating some more food. Should use the toilet. Xavier's feeling very confident. Good to hear. Maybe you should have uh, a bit of a nap. Afternoon nap. Sounds good. I do feel like... Um, I don't know if you guys agree with this, but in The Sims 4, if you've been playing it yourself, they seem... Their energy goes down really quickly. I don't know. I just... It's just how I feel. <laughs> okay. Let's just wake her up. And uh, maybe she can have a coffee. Do we have a coffee thing in the house? Thought we did. Oh, we have a tea thing that needs to be... It's coffee? Brew coffee. And uh, then let's invite Miles over. Where is he? There we are. Invite to hang out at the current lot. Awesome. Oh, she does look so tired. I don't know if this is going to work. If she's actually going to, like... Where is she walking to? If she's going to want to see him. Oh, hanging out with her little cuz. Desiree is so cute. He'll be over soon. Drink with desperation. Okay, quickly drink that up, Liberty, because your guest is going to be arriving right now. Did you, oh my gosh! Did you just do that? Try to calm down. Okay, so he's in a bad mood. She's in a bad mood. I don't know if this is going to work. Uh-oh. Let's at least talk to him now he's come all the way over. Oh good, she can drink whilst talking. That's a good thing. Okay, let's maybe kiss hands. See if they can keep up the flirting. Awesome. Right, what other romantic things? Reveal crush, we've done that before. Ask about woohoo. Trinity, Trinity, get out of the room. <laughs> She's just listening. Oh, he's not liking this. I just, I don't think this is going to work. I don't think uh, we're timing this well. Smooth recovery. I don't know, maybe, maybe Carter's going to be the one who has to figure out this stuff. Wow. But um, we probably should age up the boys Liberty's been seeing with her, so at least she can get to know them afterwards. At least they're kind of getting along. Alright guys, well I'm going to leave this part right here, because clearly these two are not ready. Oh my gosh, Miles! Ugh. Maybe if you're going to be rude to us, we are totally going to move on to Desmond. Seriously. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll speak to you soon.